Okay, so you've just downloaded and installed IE9, and boy, it sure looks a lot different. Uh, where in the heck is everything? Where did all my toolbars go? Where are all my commands? Where's my history, my bookmarks, my favorites, tools, everything? Where did they go? Well, don't worry, they're all still here. They're just hidden. And I think that the reason they did this was to try and give you a more full screen view of your web page. You see, they've minimized a lot of what's going on up here at the top. But have no fear, we can get everything back and I'm here to show you how. All right, the first thing we're going to do is somewhere in the vicinity of our tabs up here at the top, in one of these blank areas, doesn't matter where, I'm going to get my mouse and right click. And there we go. This is where we're going to find most of the things we're looking for. First thing we want to do is find my favorites bar so that I can look for all of my favorite sites that I've added to that bar. And there they are, ready to go. Let's right click again. Looking for that menu bar? There it is. File, edit, view, favorites, tools, and help. Let's go ahead and let's find the command bar, something that a lot of people were missing in IE9. They're like, what happened to all of those buttons? And there they are right there. Now your command bar, just like before, can be customized by simply right clicking in it somewhere and choosing customize and then add or remove commands. And you see they're all available here to put on whatever you want. You know what, let's go ahead and let's do that because quite honestly, there's a couple of things that I don't need. I'm going to take off my read mail and the help. How about that? I can also go ahead and change... So that I see text labels. Why am I not getting my customized? There it is. Selective text. Or the icons only, just like that. And when I do that, see this little button here, the little gear? That's there now. That's my tools, which is a little bit different from the tools button up here, the gear button. Looks like a gear, a sprocket, or a cam. That's another way to get to your tools. Where we'll have print, file, zoom, safety, view downloads, managing add-ons, developer tabs, pin sites, internet options, which you probably recognize, you probably use. And uh, the internet options haven't really changed all that much. It looks pretty much the same, doesn't it? But this set of tools gives you a little bit more like the pop-up blockers, manage add-ons, compatibility view settings, a few more detailed options in here. This also has the option of full screen view, which you can see is also the keyboard shortcut F11, and that is not the F key and then type the number 11, that is the F11 key, which if you look down on your keyboard, is up in that top row. There's keys marked from F1 through F12. Let's take a look at that real quick. Let me click there. See that now I can see the entire web page unencumbered without any of my toolbars. And of course, notice that when I move up here, I get this back, get those toolbars back. And to turn off the full screen view, I can hit F11 again or once more go here and choose full screen. Another thing that I can do, and let's go back up here, is I can show my tabs on a separate row so that my tabs exist and my one box is all in a row by itself. My tabs have their own row as well. Now, you probably already noticed the home button, the little house, it's over here on the right side. The star is our favorites, feeds, and history. And if I click there, they kind of drop down here. Or if I can click on the pin the favorite center, the little green arrow. And now that looks familiar, doesn't it? Right back where it always used to be. Favorites, feeds, and history. And to close that, I simply need to click on the red X and of course, add to favorites if I want to add a favorite site. One more thing, if I go ahead and click in the one box, kind of over here on the right edge, no, I didn't quite get it right there. I have to get 
right there in my refresh and I get the option to show stop and refresh before the address bar I can move them over here to the left side personal preference I'm used to them over here so I'm just going to keep them there and of course like I said before our home button one last thing and that is where to happen where is my status bar what happened to my status bar click there and now it's here on the bottom right where it always was before so that is where is everything where did everything go what happened to all of my stuff that I'm used to in IE9 it's all still there it's just kind of hidden away in a little bit of a different place that's it for this lesson thanks for watching and I'll see you next time thanks for watching for more information regarding our training videos please visit www.trainsignal.com